Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a recognition server workflow to monitor an email box uh, and process the message body and message attachments. Now what we have here is recognition server, the administration console in front of us. I'm going to select workflows and then you see I have an email workflow set up for us. So what we're going to do is look at some properties here. The first thing we're going to do is look at the general tab. We can give it a name, and then we're going to select the mail type, or I'm sorry, the workflow type of mail. Uh, when we do that, then it will open up other options for us later down in these other tabs to, to set those properties. Of course, we're going to let the process run always uh, instead of on a schedule. Next, we'll look at the input options. This is where we set up the email server connections, and in this case, um, we're just going to process a, a, some emails from a POP3 box. And uh, what we have here is then just our email uh, credentials and the server address, the port, and things like that that we're going to process. Uh, you can also see some of our other options here. We can also process from an Exchange mailbox. But for this demo, we're going to keep it POP3. Uh, we can also have filters based on what we want to include or exclude from certain attachments. In this case, we're going to allow everything to come through, even including the message body. And a lot of times it's very important for us just to capture the message body um, so we have the contents of the original request that is coming in. So that is where we set up our email connections and, and what messages to process. And then uh, just like any other workflow, we need to set up what languages we want and how we want the OCR to be optimized. In this case, we're going to leave it by default. Uh, we're going to have our documents are going to create one job, so one document for each job. So what that means is that every email and its attachments will create one document. So if I have an email with three attachments, I'm going to get one document outputted uh, in, in my um, output folder. Our quality control, once again, where we set up verifications, we're going to leave these defaulted, which means we will have no verification on. We're also not going to set up indexing for this video. The last thing we will do is set up our output format, and as you can see here, we've selected PDF formats, um, and we will save these in our output folder. So that is our basic workflow setup, and what I'm going to do here is just send an email. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, what the email address is that we're monitoring, and then we are going to attach an example. So we can say, perhaps, maybe just to attach the example and just say invoice attached from Bayshore, please process this invoice. So what we're going to do, like I said, is just send this email to the monitored email box. Now I have the email box in front of me, so I'm going to just go ahead and refresh it and make sure we re the email box receives it. it could just take a second to process that over there for us. And there it is. We have the invoice. So now what we're going to do is let Recognition Server pull the email box. You're going to see that it's going to pull this message and then create an output PDF of the message and the invoice that we've attached to it. Uh, we can, in the meantime, see what we're doing. We have a job log here that will help us figure out what we're doing. We can see what jobs the system is working on. We see now that it has no jobs, so it hasn't pulled the email box yet, but just tons of different options here we can use to investigate it. So we're going to give this just an opportunity, a quick opportunity, to pull that the attachment, and, and then we'll see the output file here. Okay, and now here in our job log, we see that it is now processing that email. It's 70% done, and now it is completed. So what we're going to do is now go look at our output file. And when I drag this over onto the screen, you will see here that we have one file. This file contains the email body that we sent. Then if we scroll down, we'll see a copy of the invoice that was the attachment on the email. So that's really as simple as it is. We have full control over um, document separation, so if we did want these separated, we could. We also have full control over what kind of documents we process, so um, that way we can kind of keep junk attachments out of our processing feed. So that is very simple. It's as simple as setting up an email workflow, 
within Recognition Server, providing it the input properties, setting up your custom requirements in the other tabs, and then just letting it pull from the email box. It's a pretty neat feature. Um, please contact us if you have any questions, and we'd love to be of service to you. Thank you so much.